May 31st, 2017 Travels with Phil continues at the Wagon Box Fight. This is a spot where a couple of dozen soldiers, woodcutters, were attacked by uh, hundreds, if not over a thousand, Sioux warriors. The little box you see there on the ground, it's not so little actually, it's probably about uh, 10 feet long. That's what they would carry the wood in. And they would come out here to cut the wood down and then take it back to Fort Phil Kearney, which is off in that general direction. In fact, the big tree that you see in the center of the picture there, uh, those hills that you see just behind it, those are the uh, ones that are behind Phil Kearney to the south. So it's not that far away. And in fact, you can see some of the uh, lookout spots on these hills up here. Beautiful, beautiful countryside out here. Some horses, beautiful flowers. Very unusual paint in that it's white and very pale beige. You see it right there through the fence. Lots of yellow flowers. And again, people who put up signs, monument markers sometimes, or well, you wonder where their information comes from. They say thousands of Indians may have been killed. The estimates range from six to a hundred. <laughs> more recent, more accurate, perhaps. No one knows exactly how many were killed. And there's also some controversy that the, uh, where you can see the white boulders across the road over there, that that may be the more accurate spot for where this fighting went on. Uh, survivors who came by later, many years later, uh, didn't always agree on where it happened. They've done some archeological uh, work out here to try and determine where it was, and that's why they think this is more likely to be the spot. You can reach it by way of Story, Wyoming. Or you can also reach it uh, on a gravel road coming from Phil Kearney. It's always a good idea to visit both. Gives you some more, uh, good uh, background. And there you go. I said unusual looking horse. Unusual looking paint. White and beige. Travels with Phil. Back to you.